Bassman here from Now Spinning Magazine with another unboxing video. And this one is the Electric Prunes Then Came the Dawn, six CD box set from 1966 to 1969. Now this, I've really, really enjoyed. I was about to say exceptional again. I seem to be saying that word all the time, but there's so much good stuff coming out. And again, this is another one from Esoteric and Cherry Red. So before I give my synopsis and what I feel about this, let's have a look inside the box and you can see what you get. So Electric Prunes, Then Came the Dawn, complete recordings 1966 to 1969. So it's 60, six CD set and you get the stereo and mono versions of each album where they were available. So for the first three albums, the Electric Prunes and Underground and Mass in F minor, you get the stereo and mono versions. Release of an Oath and Good, good Old Rock and Roll is on one disc. Then you've got Shadows, which is made up of lots of singles and outtakes and extended versions. And disc six is Stockholm Live 1967. And plus you also get some demo recordings as well. So let's have a look at the box. The box design is very much like the Iron Butterfly box. It's not a clamshell box. Um, it's a nice design where you pull out the, the slipcase and all the albums are inside. So the first one is the Electric Prunes. A nice reproduction of the original vinyl. These were on reprise, so what they've done is replicate as much as possible the original reprise label. So you've got stereo and mono versions. And then underground, I love this cover. And I'll show you the booklet in a minute, it goes into absolute detail on how these albums put together. And then this, and I have to say, this is the album, I just thought they were all about having too much to dream last night. But this is, this is like, embryonic prog to me you know they decided to do the catholic mass and put it to music you know a psychedelic psychedelic rock band to attempt that and they sang it in latin you know one of the key players could read music and read latin and that was the approach but this is an absolutely fantastic record um, there's a bass solo on the second track in, which is absolutely outstanding. And I just loved this. This has changed my perception of what I thought the Electric Prunes were all about. But then they bettered it, in my opinion, with then follow-up, which was Release of an Oath. Now, this one is on the same CD with the follow-up, which was um, just old rock and roll. So the gatefold basically shows the back cover of each one of these. But the, this one, the release of an oath, was their interpretation of the Jewish religious tradition after doing the Catholic Mass. And to me, it's even better. It's absolutely stunning. It, there's more strings with this one, but it's so adventurous that I just absolutely loved it. Now, and the last one, the new improved electric prunes, good, just good old rock and roll. They turned into a, they turn into a hard rock band, um, probably closer to a book of Italian by Deep Purple. Um, absolutely brilliant. The live one is it's like music from another realm. In, they didn't know this was being recorded, but it's a good recording, and it's their interpretations of. It's got their own songs, but you've got Smoke Snack Lighting on there, which is absolutely brilliant, and this is where the demo tracks are, but. This has been out before, a long time ago. I think it came out in the late 90s, but it's really, really good. And then finally, you've got the 45 mixes, rare tracks, and extended versions. And as you can see here, there are loads of them. Right up to the final singles that they made. And then, as you do with all of these now, you get an absolutely brilliant booklet. And they've done their best to talk to everyone involved. You know, the, the print size is quite small, but, but, this, but this, there's no shortage of pages, lots of memorabilia. And as I say, they've spoke to everyone who's still around 
to get some background on this. And I found I found this really interesting to know that these these were people in their early 20s, late teens, and just how adventurous and their vision to what they wanted to do. But it say it's those two psychedelic proggy albums to me are the ones that I've been playing the most because I didn't know that was going to happen. Um, and I really, 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 really enjoyed them. But everything you need to know about the band, as I say, you know, I feel like a, I feel like a student of rock music sometimes when I get these box sets. There's so much to explore. There's some notes here about the remastering process. I have to say the remastering is fantastic. And then there's the details on the actual discs themselves. But seriously, this is really, really, really good. So that's the Electric Prunes, a great box set and a great introduction, another introduction to the late 60s and the and the how rock music kind of evolved during this period. This to me is a fantastic companion box set to this the iron butterfly one which you as you know i've unboxed this on this channel and it's absolutely fantastic as i listened to this i realized that they reminded me of rhinoceros which is another box set I, I i think i've got it nearby those of you who want to remember it highly worthwhile getting as well but as i listened to this i could hear early early pink floyd especially sid in the sid barrett so if you're into this album by pink floyd You'll be into this and also early who um all of that's on here and yet i i was i knew of the song i had too much to dream last night i think most people have heard of that song and if you, i i stumbled across it from the nuggets compilation many many years ago and um but i never explored any further and when listening to the to the first album as I said as I went through it, it's got some kind of novelty type tracks and you feel that it's like the kind of psychedelic 60s and it's kind of, you know, there's humour, there's a, this adventure, there's, there's the, all the, there's no boundaries, you know, you can do what you like. And when they come to the second album, they kind of tune that in to become more of a, again, psychedelic rock band from the late 60s in America. But... As I as I mentioned, you know, in going through the box, it is mass in F minor. It's all sung all in Latin, where they put a Catholic mass to music, and you know, there's a bass solo on, on the second track, and it's absolutely fantastic, and it's like embryonic prog. It's like um, Aphrodite's Child Six Six Six, but but kind of pulled back a bit. But it, you could play them both. You know they are linked and then they they you think well how they how are they going to follow that up and they followed it up with release of an oath which is looking at jewish tradition of um of religion and this has got more strings on it and it sounds like a really really mature um band and i think the other thing that it what it signifies is that this period of music experimentation or someone saying to you well, I'm not sure you know the last single didn't sound very well you really need to be looking for a hit now this is a period in music history when if somebody said well let's let's do a as I said you know let's do mass in F minor that'll be that'll be a bit different and someone's yeah go for it and that's what's so amazing when you listen back now to these bands from this you know, from the 60s or, well, and again, a lot of the prog bands from the 70s, where they were just allowed the time to experiment to see what would happen. And I was under the assumption that with songs like I Had Too Much to Dream Last Night and the lots of trebly guitars, a bit of like the monkeys and stuff, that I'd pigeonholed them. But listening to this now, and, you know, the live album in Stockholm, how experimental they were, and what fantastic musicians. And these are, again, these are young kids. These are like people in their early 20s, late teens, different periods of this. You know, this is 1960s. And you know, the the um, good, good um, Just Good Rock and Roll, which is our last album from mid-1969, that to me has, could easily build a bridge between that and Book of Italians by, Book of Italians by Deep Purple. 
it, it, you can the whole melting pot and then of course that will lead me into vanilla fudge um you know it'd be great to have a box it on them on your vanilla fudge um but cherry red have done a fantastic job here and if you are a student of rock music from this period and you want to try and catch up and don't know where to start this is a great place to start so i recommend this as i've recommended the iron butterfly rhinoceros stuff but this you know is a great box set and i thought i'd be skimming through it and thinking well, that's good to have but those two albums the ones that were in um mass in f minor and the other one which is a uh, release of an oath i just can't stop playing them I, I don't think if, they, if you can stream them um, and I, I see streaming as listening to the radio so go and listen to them see what you think and they just sound great so thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for ringing that little bell and thank you for following me and commenting on the website stuff as well and I shall see you on my next video mm -hmm.